guys as football players we have helmets on so you really can't see us like NBA like baseball so when a lot of guys have the opportunity to show things without having a helmet you better take full advantage of it because it might be a, 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 the next job for you after football I'm confident I run the show I'm beautiful and everybody knows I got the LSU. My friends always tell me like, you know, you need to like put on clothes. Like, I know, like, ain't no big guy really out here dressing like that. Like, I'm telling you, like, you need to like start swagging. Like, I know, I'm telling you, you can do it. And ever since then, I kind of took it, took that step and that same approach I had every day. I think a lot of guys, they always like to get fresh on game day. You know, especially when you got to walk down. The, we had got a thing called LSU, like Tiger Walk, where you wear like suits, but some guys like, we call it like volley in the dress code, where some guys would need to wear like a collar shirt. They'll wear like, they'll kind of get swaggy with it. And I think that, that played a big part in it too. But just kind of like my friend just kind of instilling those confidence in me. And it kind of just, just took off after that, especially when I got some money in my pocket. It's a way of confidence. Somebody might not like what you got on, but it's cool, you're wearing it. And long as you walk in the room and you're like 10 out of 10, like you know that you're rocking it, like nobody else's opinion really matters. We have helmets on all the time. So nobody really can see our face. So really, a lot of times for guys to get their shine on is walking into the arena, you know, walking into the stadium. So a lot of guys take that to heart, you know, like, hey, this is me, this is who I am <laughs> besides playing football, you feel what I'm saying? You can do it on a budget, I guess. 100%. Balling on a budget. Right. Like, it don't have to be $2,000 shirts from Prada or any designer store. Like, I, I, like, I don't, like, I don't spend all that on designer clothes. Like, I, like some, I try to mix sometimes with the highs and lows. So I don't just, I don't want people to think that you got to go out and spend like thousands of dollars on clothes because I don't recommend that for nobody. So the Von Gotcha is not recommend that for nobody. Let's just get that understood. Like, you got guys who don't really spend a lot of money, but they swag look exceptional, like look great. And you're like, hey man, like how much you spend on that? Oh, I got this from a uh, venture store, like down like a, like a hardware store or something. Like, it doesn't have to be, it, you, doesn't, you don't have to go break the bank. I got love this jacket, I, I wore it one time. I definitely gotta wear it again. I love it. Every time I see this shirt, I'm like, okay, he's wearing the chef shirt again. <laughs> these white men. Oh, I love these guys. So this is a suit that I'm gonna wear this year. I'm trying to get like an all black John Wick type suit. Nobody's gonna have this suit. I promise you, nobody's gonna have this suit. One thing about Devon, he gets really excited about his fashion. Yeah, I get <laughs> really excited. You can see how passionate I'm getting right now. I get really excited. Yeah. She loves these yeah, pants. These this is a really Virgil, nice. like a pajama set. Here in Florida. Florida. <laughs> we met at a beach club. Yeah. And yeah. then he tracked me down, and the next day he showed up at the same spot I was. And <laughs> then I asked him for his number because yes. everything was going really smoothly. It was going smooth, and our yeah. I nice just, music, vibe was great. <laughs> he was going to ask me anyways, yeah. but he was taking too long. And I was just like, I like your vibes. Yeah. Let's keep in touch. He understood my industry. You know, even from the the what he was wearing, it, it just really surprised me. And the type of names that he would throw out to me that he really loved. We talked about fashion. You know, he was already pretty w well connected in my industry and it was very impressive. It was just so much that we had in common and fashion was one of them for sure. Yeah. So I have, uh, did a capsule collection with a swim brand called Cup She. And um, it is a brand that I connect with because it is catered to all women of all sizes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Damon's first time seeing me actually walk. Baby and girl. I'm walking with her baby, yeah. her baby girl. So it's really exciting 
for him to be there to support me. Hello and welcome to the third day of Miami Swim Week. I'm at like every game every watching game, him. Every home so. game, yeah. She's at every home game, so now it's my turn to watch her. So <laughs> it's very exciting for me. It's very exciting she's gonna have, you know, a, a baby girl. Try down. It's crazy how the name came up. <laughs> I want to get back to the youth, because me, I never, like, it never was a person who came back where I was from Plaquemine, Louisiana, and gave back to us. I want to give back to the youth and the people in need. You know, I want to, I want to be that kind of like that big brother. Miami is my, my home in the off season. So now, uh, you know, get to be back in Miami doing another uh, foundation event, it, it's pretty big. You know, I got, you know, Chanel got a couple friends, I got a couple friends, and Prada got a couple of their top, top selling uh, clients coming too, so it, it's gonna be good. A brand new baby girl born this fall. As well as building their family, Chanel and Devon are building a new home in South Florida. Oh yeah, this is my favorite room. This is like the living room where no kids are allowed. And then the oh, artwork. Oh, the artwork down here. You can look over this and see the living room from here with the glass. Indoor kitchen, outdoor, indoor family room. This is like the, this will be like the outdoor kitchen in the outdoor space. So this will be like a scare you can come out, cook, TVs will be out here. This is, this is definitely it, our dream home. <laughs> Who's best dressed? <sighs> On the team? On the team. On the team? Uh, you know, like Gotcha has like, like big men's fashion style. I love all my teammates from New England. And we joke about it a lot, but I know on the team, like, no disrespect to nobody, I got the best wife on the team. I'm not even, like, kidding you. Well, all my athletes know, when you're taking a shower and you gotta go catch the game bus and you're sweating, this shirt captures all that. You don't even see sweat. So, like, fill the material on it. Like, it's great material. Like, it's great. Like, fill the it's great material. It's Isimiyaki. It's a brand, and it's a Japan brand. So it caps you, like it makes sure you don't see sweats under the arms and it's white. So like, this is like, I can wear it with anything. So it's pretty, I'm pr sure you'll see me wear it this season. You'll see him wear yeah. it. I want so many, so, many, so many guys on my team to just have that confidence to pull off whatever they want to pull off. I can go through all my pictures I posted this year on game day. I don't repeat nothing. But the shelf shirt, I definitely repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Not on game day though. I, don't, I didn't repeat it on game day, but I probably wore it with a suit. Uh, walking out, going on the bus. I believe that, you know, my swag is unbelievable, but, you know, that's, that's, that's speaking of my confidence.